Pacifica. Nice, quiet, suburban town. Population, 40,400. Calm and serene, with a beautiful view of the Pacific coastline. The sun calmly sets another day. Who could suspect that underneath the surface, there lies a deep, dark underground? I'm a P-Town. I'm a straight up G. He's a straight up G. Boom, chicka, boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, boom. I think the culture here is wannabes. But how exactly do their minds work? What is it about the hip hop culture that appeals to the Pacifica teenager? One man is determined to find the answer to these questions. Manuel Marquez. Mild-mannered studious high school student works hard to try to understand what makes the Pacifica gangster tick. He concludes that the only way to understand them is to become one of them. What do I even wear? Whatever's comfortable for you, I guess. How do I pick up women? How you pick up women? You gotta have some good ass pickup lines. Pickup lines? Yeah. Hey, hey. Hi. Hi. You got a map? Um, no. Uh, well, uh, sorry, I just really need one because uh, I just keep getting lost in your eyes. <laughs> if I could rearrange the English alphabet, I'd put you and I together. Beep, beep. Oh, is that is that smoke alarm is malfunctioning or uh, or are you just smoking? Can I get your number? No, we just have to leave. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, can I get your number, girl? We have to leave. What? We have to what? go. Every day, he struts down the hallway, flaunting his newfound persona. He learned to walk the walk and talk the talk. For sure. Come at me, bro. What? That's right. Come at me, bro. Err, fool. His metamorphosis had reached completion. Manuel became a full-fledged gangster. But what did people think of him? What did his classmates and teachers think of his change of style and attitude. Well, I think uh, Manuel's new look is, uh, okay, it's definitely it. revolutionary oh. for him, but uh, I don't think he, he quite I pulls he off the gangster day. look. It's a little bit, eh, you know, if I was walking through San Francisco and I saw him, I'd take a different alley, you know? You know, not to be racist. I mean, not all Mexicans want to kill people. My impression of uh, the outfit that um, that Manuel has is that, that I've been seeing him around campus is uh, is uh, doesn't quite fit his personality that I know him as. Pretty tough though. I, I definitely wouldn't want to mess with him. I know the affinity for My Little Pony is really one of those uh, those things that just it screams gangster. But I, I definitely wouldn't want to mess with him. Last time I uh, knew someone who watched My Little Pony almost shanked me. So. I would like to avoid a repeat of that if but possible. We have... All right. Yes, I admit, I'm making a fool of myself, and and there is a truth to the assumption that these Pacific gangsters are just wannabes, eating up what the media feeds them. In my experiences, I I've, I've seen it firsthand. And I've and I've felt the foolishness and the awkwardness that goes with trying to be somebody that you're not. In the time that I spent living as my alter ego, I realized that that exception was Harry Bodie. Despite his appearances, he's definitely not a wannabe. He is, is real, and, and, and uh, no, that's, uh, he's, he's, there's not many of him.
would just have to say that if you think I'm being fake or something, don't don't even come around here with that. Cause first off, I ain't being fake. And second off, I ain't never gonna be fake. Cause that's not who I am. And before you start judging me, take a look in the mirror and make sure you really know who you are first. Got Lindemar Vandals. What up? Pedro Creek Posse. Woo! <laughs> Trap Park Mob SPM. They tagged my turtle tank. P Town? Can we get a P Town? No. Like what? P Town? P Town? What's your opinion on P Town gangsters? P Town, fool. Oh, shit. <laughs> Situation they got me facing. I can't live a normal life. I'm